Hey everyone, it's Elisa from Photobox Designs. Um, I'm making this video. It's a quick video on clipping masks and how to use them in uh, any template, but also how to allow objects to pass through the box or come out of the box realistically. Um, I have a lot of other tutorials on this, but um, I had a question from um, Bonnie McCoy in our group. I'm so sorry if you hear the noise in the background. My husband decided to drill just as I made the video. So hopefully he's done. Um, so this was a question from Bonnie Yeager McCoy. Um, she was having trouble getting um, anything to come out of the box the way we do in a white box tutorial. So I'm going to just use this as an example. So um, of course you can use this template, which is found in photoboxdesigns.com or photoboxdesigns.net in our shop. Um, it is only made with clipping masks. So you'll see that it says top left, the clipping mask is just a box, right? It's just a box. It's just a gray box that you're going to take your photo and clip it to. Um, so I have a picture here that I already preloaded in. This is of my son. He's in a box. This is from our holiday card a couple of years ago. So I already brought it in. You could see that the picture has already been cut out. Um, but you'll also notice that he is sticking out, his head sticking outside the box. So let me, let me clip it. Let me resize it just a little bit down about box size. Let's say about that. It doesn't have to be perfect right now. I'm going to clip it into this, into this. I'm going to turn it off for a second. I'm going to clip it into the top mid clipping mask, which is this one. Okay. It's just a square. So I'm going to clip it right in by going to right clicking on the picture of my son. It is the, the picture in the layers panel. The picture of my son is on top of that or above the mask. I want to clip it into, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to uh, create clipping mask. And now voila, he's clipped in. I'm going to ignore the fact that his head doesn't show. And I'm going to resize this so that the box is in perfectly except in every way, except for him, except for his head. All right. My box is not actually perfectly square. So I'm just warping the edge slightly. All I'm doing is pushing down on the command button, pulling the edge just slightly to warp it just to sort of square it off a little bit more. Uh, even his hand really isn't coming through. Well, I, I should, also show you i should also mask off his hand but what i'm only thing i'm going to do right now is just get his head to show okay so as you can see right now the box is pretty good um i'm gonna warp this slightly just a slight bit more but the box looks pretty good right now it's pretty much the way i'd want it it's settled in here except of course his head is sticking out of the box so let's try this now you ready we have <clears throat> one layer. I'm going to change it to Jared. That's his name. And he's, it's this red layer here. Now he's clipped into the box. If I were to unclip it, just to show you, um, release clipping mask. See now it's not clipped in, but I'm going to go back and I'm going to create clipping mask. He's in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate just the layer that says Jared. I'm going to bring, I'm doing is taking and dragging it down to this plus sign to duplicate the layer. It is automatically clipped. So now of course it doesn't look any different because it's just the same layer twice clipped together. I'm going to now right click, release the clipping mask, which voila, now it goes back to being this. But what I really want to do is I just want to select I'm on Jared's copy. Okay. Jared copy the top layer. I'm going to take my selection tool, my quick selection tool, make it a little bit smaller and I'm just selecting his head and even just a little bit of his body because that's the only thing I really need truthfully is I don't need all this selected because I'm going to be covering that. I just need the parts that are sticking out selected. So I'm going to, I've selected it. I'm going to click down here. I'm going to give it a mask. So I'm going to put, I've selected first mask and there you go. I masked immediately. It gave it a black mask, which means that, um, it is now, you can see the only thing that everything is being covered 
except for the top of his head. And if you look at my mask, you can see the whole mask is black, but there's a little tiny, tiny bit that's white. Well, that's his head sticking out because that's, you know, black uh, conceals, white reveals. So um, we've covered up the rest of this. So if I'm going to just for, just to show you the, the Jared layer that's right underneath it, I'm going to click it off. And you can see that the only thing that is showing through on this mask is my son's head and his arms. But because this part, his arms and his head are exactly the same as what's underneath it, you can't tell that the only piece that's sticking, that's now showing through is his head, except for the part that sticks out on top. I should really do that with his hands, but I'm not going to right now. Um, but that is just to demonstrate how you can have objects. If you ever had, let's say an object that you wanted to pass from one to the next, you would do essentially the exact same thing. Hope this tutorial was, um, beneficial and, um, enjoy. And if you're looking for a template like this, we are at photoboxdesigns.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.